the engineering department of the hospital. Rome Health, Rome Hospital, Rome Medical. Wow, look at that Ford. Now that's a truck. Just checking up on how they're, wow, look how much they got done on the new addition. Those are the new uh, surgical rooms. No, no. Still working on it. They got a lot done though. Look at all that. Safety first, hard hat area. Yeah, they got a lot done. And they're doing the front entrance here. The lobby area. I think the clouds look pretty cool. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm trying to concentrate on the building, but the clouds are pretty neat. This trail starts at the intersection of Black River Boulevard and Wright Settlement Road. Uh, it's right across from Olney's. And this is another part of the uh, Mohawk River Trail. And right now they're working on the bridge and it's closed. So you don't have to worry about traffic as you cross the uh, road. Because the road's closed. Now they've been talking about for over a decade of fixing up this trail. Yeah, they still haven't done it. And actually, I kind of prefer that they don't. Once you fix it up and you blacktop it, there's just going to be too many people using it. Too many problems. Too many homeless. I like it, just the way it is. Right down there is the Mohawk River. Pretty calm and tranquil right now. very bumpy so yeah definitely need 
a good pair of shoes when walking on this because your feet can get tired right out. But me, in my experience, I've learned that shoes with too much cushioning actually make your feet bones much weaker. They make it worse. Sure, it's comfortable, but they make your foot bones a lot weaker. So if you want strong foot bones, wear sneakers or shoes with little uh, cushioning or just go barefoot. And I hope I don't die in the heat. All I've had to drink so far today was a cup of coffee. What they need to do is cut down some of these trees, just a little, maybe 10 foot wide path of it, just to see a good view of the river. Just a thought. This is what I hate, though. All these houses behind it, just a ton of trash. Oh, gee, I don't know how the trash got there. Oh, well, I suppose that somebody uh, went into your backyard last night with a uh, truck and dumped off a bunch of trash. And every year it's newer trash. I mean, you know, if if I was a codes department officer, and I realize a lot of them are pretty lazy, I would take a walk back here, document this stuff, and then tell the homeowner behind it, hey, you got, you know, 90 days to get it cleaned up. I mean, it's... It's a lot of malarkey when the homeowner says, oh, it's not ours. Yeah, right. I suppose somebody was camping in your backyard and just threw it all in there. But all along this ravine is garbage. It's one thing that makes this trail kind of nasty. Let's continue. And if you don't want to take the whole trail beginning at Olney's Flower Shop, uh, across from Olney's Flower Shop, you can always drive down. And just before you hit uh, Elmer Hill Road, which goes straight ahead, curve down this way, which... Uh, goes towards the fish hatchery and you can park right in here and you can walk half the distance I don't ride along here anymore because well the cops do absolutely nothing about speeders and as you can see there's some of the river the Mohawk River or if you prefer Let's see, Mohawk, yeah, Mohawk River. Mohawk River, which turns into the Black River, Black River, which turns into the Mohawk River. And the road is just right up there on top of that hill. This is not the Mohawk River, by the way. This is just a creek. And as you can see, it's getting pretty bad. Maybe Governor Hotchell can, uh, I don't know, 
invest in some, uh, give us a couple thousand bucks to put some new wood on this bridge. I doubt it. She's too busy with her liberal crap. <laughs> kind of funny how these Democrats talk about nature con conservation all the time. They rant about it constantly. But then when a Parks Department, a Forest Service, a city asks for some dollars to fix up a trail, it's, oh, no, we can't do that. But we will give $10 million to this program and that program that nobody gives a damn about. <laughs> Politicians. They should all be hung. Let's continue and get off this bridge before it collapses. This deck right here is primarily for the handicapped. Uh, you know, people in wheelchairs, people with uh, leg issues, walkers. But uh, there have been other, other anglers do use it. Anyone uses it. And uh, let me tell you, in the fall and early spring, you can really catch a lot of trout out of this suction. And this is the David M. Chernoff uh, Handicap Fishing Area of the Rome Fish Hatchery. Right here you have State Route 49. I don't know. I try to avoid the roads with high speed traffic. And, uh, yep. and right over there is the Rome Fish Hatchery. And wow, look at those clouds. Nice sky.